Hey guys, uh, welcome to my positioning video for lateral knees. I feel compelled to make this video because I've yet to see this little trick used in any other knee positioning slash critique video and I just wanted to get this info out there. There's some great positioning slash critiquing videos already out there. Um, Jeremy Enfinger puts out a good one. Um, X-Ray EJ1 also puts out a good one. I'm, I'm sure there's others, um, but those are the two that I stumbled across and uh, I've really yet to see this, uh, this little trick used. So. I'm going to link to their videos down below, so go ahead and check those out, and uh, let's get started. So I got some of these images from, from Wiki Radiography, and uh, full disclosure, uh, this is where I learned this little trick. Um, I've been using it for years and it served me well, uh, especially when the other indicators for lateral knee were a little difficult to see, such as uh, the fibula be either being superimposed or not superimposed, and also uh, the adductor tubercle, which isn't always as easy to see. So what we're going to be going over is the lateral notch. Um, basically it's this little notch here. You can see the lines drawn around the condyles, which makes it a little bit easier to see than this one here. Um, but with these lines drawn, it becomes very apparent um, where the lateral and the medial condyles are medial condyle is a lot more round, uh, the lateral side tends to be flatter and you'll have this notch. It's not always as obvious, um, sometimes it's just really flat, but it'll definitely be flatter than the medial side. This example is clearly laterally rotated because we can also see the fibula is completely free of superimposition from the tibia. Um, using the fibula is a great way to tell rotation, especially when it's exaggerated like this one. Uh, but it's not always a clear indicator, um, as we'll see later in the video. This image we can barely see the adductor tubercle, uh, and the medial side looks a little magnified, um, but how do we know this is the medial side? Well, obviously we would know if we shot the image medial lateral, um, but how can we be sure if we weren't the one that took the image? Um, the lateral notch is the dead giveaway here. So compared to the medial side, it's obvious which one's the lateral side. So again, the arrows point to lateral notch. It's flatter here, um, more rounded here. I do not see any visible adductor tubercle. That could be it. Um, the fibula isn't giving us much to go on here either. Um, this is a prime example of knowing where to find the lateral notch uh, and how it comes in handy. Uh, the image isn't so much a rotation issue as it is an angulation issue. So with this being our lateral notch here with the arrow pointing at it, um, it becomes very apparent which one's the lateral side versus the medial side. Um, with the medial side being down, the lateral side being up, um, they need to angle the tube a little more cephalically. In this image, the adductor tubercle is barely visible. It looks like that could be it there. Um, we may be able to window level this image uh, if we were on PAX and find it. Um, but to me, what I always look for, again, is the lateral notch, and it's really obvious. It's right here. This is our lateral side. Medial side here is more round. So with this lateral side here, it looks like this image was shot lateral medial because we have magnification of the lateral condyle here. There's no visible adductor tubercle here, um, so that's not much help. The fibula isn't much help either. Um, so again, we'll go to the condyles and look for the lateral notch. Medial side, really round. Lateral side's flat, and lateral notch here. <clears throat> no obvious adductor tubercle looking for the condyles. Uh, the round one, again, medial side. Flat one is going to be your lateral side. There's your lateral notch right there. This image looks like it was possibly taken standing, weight bearing. Um, this isn't a rotation issue, again, as much as it is angulation. Um, what this is, I see a lot with uh, trauma, or excuse me, um, ortho patients, is they have pain in the knee or the ankle, and they're favoring this leg. 
So when they're standing up against the Bucky, uh, say this is a left side, we're shooting medial lateral, what they're doing is basically the hip isn't in line with the knee being in line with the ankle, so they're not all over each other. What they're doing is they're leaning away from the Bucky and putting more weight onto the right side, which is causing the medial condyle to come down and the lateral condyle to come up. So they're basically basically leaning towards this camera or this uh, this tube. So what we would do is just basically have them put their weight or at least get their hip and knee and ankle in line. Uh, they may not be able to put their weight over the knee, but as long as you line those up, that'll fix uh, this image right here and get you that superimposition that you're looking for. But again, lateral notch right here. Again, no visible adductor tubercle that's sticking out. Um, no obvious lateral notch here. We can go a little bit off the fibula here and say that already that it looks like it's too laterally rotated. But what I want you to focus on really is which condyle is flatter. So we can look at this one. This one looks round. And if we follow this one, it's round here, but it tends to flatten out a little bit. So this is our lateral side. Even though there's no lateral notch here, that's uh, very apparent. It, it is flatter on this side, and we know this also <laughs> by confirming the fibula being free of superimposition. So let's look for that lateral notch. This image is very close to perfect. Um, definitely not repeatable, but we can see right here it becomes a little more apparent too when these condyles are almost perfectly superimposed, which one's lateral and which one's medial. Um, to me, the lateral notch is very apparent it's right here compared to the medial side which is rounder so lateral side flat got the little dip here that's your lateral notch medial sides around this one has a nice adductor tubercle so we can already kind of tell which way this is going to go here's your medial side here um, it also has an obvious lateral notch now when you have two bumps here that look like they could be lateral notches it's always going to be the one that comes first. This one's a little too far anterior on the condyle. It's going to be this one here that's a little bit closer to the bottom and it's flatter. And we know this also because here's our adductor tubercle which means this is the medial side rounder. So this is going to be our lateral side right here. And a little lateral notch there. This image <coughs> is a good example why I don't always go off the fibula uh, without looking for the lateral notch also. Uh, the lateral notch is very clear on this one, but the condyles tell us we need less rotation than the fibula would have us believe. So, I mean, we can see right here that you would rotate very minimally if you wanted to retake this image uh, to try and get perfect superimposition. But if you look at this joint space here, you would think it's a lot more, and you would overcompensate, I think, for the rotation. So, again, obvious lateral notch here, lateral side. Here's your medial side. All right, on this one, can you see where the lateral notch is on here? The lateral side, again, flatter than the medial side. The fibula isn't much help on this one, but we can see <clears throat> how round this is compared to this one where it just kind of flattens out. So there's your lateral notch there. All right, so which one's the lateral side? Super obvious, adductor tubercle again. Fibula is a huge red flag. <clears throat> so we can see that here's our medial side. If we looked at the fibula, we would be like, all right, it's too much medial rotation right off the bat. But again, let's look for the lateral notch. This is your medial side, adductor tubercle followed around. It's round, round, round. We still have that bump up here that looks like it might be the lateral notch, but it's not. We've got to pay attention to this condyle also. It's going to come around and it just flattens out. So again, lateral side is flatter than the medial side, and we got our little bump slash notch, and it appears before this one here. Again, this one looks like it was probably shot uh, lateral medial versus medial lateral, possibly trauma or portable. All right, can you see the lateral notch on this one? It's another good example um, of why I look for the lateral notch. No help from the fibula. Uh, no obvious adductor tubercle. So this image isn't repeatable, but it does help to know how to find the lateral side. Um, mainly if this was OR, 
it would have to be a perfect lateral knee. So we can get away with this in trauma or downstairs in the main department um, or portable, but in the OR it's not going to fly because we need a true lateral. So being able to tell which one's your lateral side and knowing which way to wig wag with your C arm is uh, going to be paramount when you get up to the OR and start doing surgery. Um, knowing how to find that side uh, will get you a perfect image faster uh, with less patient dose than if you were just guessing which way to go. So round, medial, flat, lateral, lateral notch right in here. So I'm sure by now everybody's picking up pretty well on this. Um, so what I'm going to do, we're going to do a challenge round. I'm going to throw a couple images up, give you guys a five second time limit, and uh, see if you can find that lateral side. So we're working on the honor system here, no cheating. You guys know who you are. Here we go. Which one's the lateral side? All right. If you guessed it was too medially rotated, you're correct. The lateral notch is here. And we can also tell a fibula is being projected too far forward onto the tibia. Um, and we can tell by a barely visible adductor tubercle right here. So if you guessed it was too medially rotated, good job. All right, next one, ready? Did you guess it was too medially rotated? Then you are correct. Lateral notch is clear on this one. Feeble is a good indicator as well. If you guessed this was your lateral side, good job. All right, next one. Go. If you guessed it was too medially rotated, then you are correct again. We know it needs a little bit uh, cephalic angle since the medial side is lower than the lateral side. Medial, lateral. So we would just angle up a little bit, a couple more degrees. All right, Rat Techs, I'm sure everybody's mastered finding the lateral notch by now. Uh, so much so that whenever the image pops up, your eye is instantly drawn to it and there's no question about where it's at. Now we're going to do bonus round. Three seconds on the clock. Try and find that lateral notch as fast as you can. No cheating. You know who you are. Here we go. Did you guess the image was too medially rotated? A little bit of cephalic tube angle would probably help out too. Um, no help from adductor tubercle but the fibula is projected pretty far forward onto the tibia. Uh, most important of all, the lateral notch is clear as day. So lateral side, flat, medial side, round. Good job, guys. Next one. If you guess laterally rotated, then you are correct. Uh, we can clearly see the flatter side is the lateral side, uh, rounder side, medial side. And the position of the fibula helps support this, right? Lateral condyle coming back. Lateral side's too far out. And that gives it away there. That one's pretty easy. All right, next one. Three seconds. Here we go. If you guessed it was too medially rotated, you are correct again. Uh, this one can be a little bit harder to see, but when the condyles are, are lined up like this, and you look at this flat side, um, if you know what to look for, it's it's pretty easy. Flat uh, lateral condyle versus round medial condyle. Slight lateral notch here. Barely visible adductor tubercle, but it's there. Right in here. Um, this is another good example why I don't always use the fibula. Uh, at first glance, if you go off the fibula, it looks as though the knee may be too laterally rotated due to the lack of superimposition right here um, that we normally see on lateral knees. So if we don't combine this information with what we know about the lateral notch, the likelihood is high that we would probably rotate this knee the wrong way and take an unnecessary exposure resulting in, in a worse image because we went the wrong way, right? Um, we also need to angle a little bit cephalic on this. So taking all this into consideration, but definitely looking at this right here, I think to me is a dead giveaway. Okay, so will be one of the last images. Um, I'm going to throw you a curveball here, uh, but I trust hopefully after this lengthy video, you guys will be able to nail this one.
So here we go. Take a few more seconds on this one. What do you think? What is your newfound knowledge telling you despite what this image says? If you said this image is incorrectly labeled, you'd be correct. I'd argue all day long that this, that this image is incorrect. Uh, and, and how do we know this? Well, not the adduct or tubercle, because we can't really see one. It's not really visible. Not by the fibula, because uh, it doesn't look malpositioned. Um, it's a decent lateral knee. We, we know this because the lateral notch. It's plain as day, uh, especially when compared to the, the, the rounder medial side here, right? Um, this lateral notch is it's so obvious that right after immediately seeing it, it should have just jumped right off the screen at you and, and just said, you know, here I am. So if this knee was shot medial lateral like it should have been, then we can also kind of say that the magnified side is the medial side. Um, again, giving credence to this being the lateral notch here because it's, it's obviously magnified here. Um, I know that it's labeled like this, um, but let's look at some other images, some previous images that we had, uh, and try to see if this is incorrectly labeled. So this is the first one that, that we showed uh, in, in the beginning of the video. Let's go ahead and rotate it a little bit, and we'll flip it to match. So let's cut off here, but that's your round side, lateral side with the bump. It comes a little more obvious, right? So this is probably a mislabeled image. Let's compare it to another one. Again, it's kind of close. Round, medial, lateral notch, round, medial, lateral notch. Alright, so last image. Lateral notch here, medial sides round, lateral notch. It's really obvious to me. So th this image is obviously mislabeled. I don't know if this came from a textbook or not. But it is floating around the internet because I pulled this right off of Google. And that means that somebody is giving wrong information to uninformed techs. So don't be this person. Um, know which is your lateral versus your medial. Be able to call it out if you see something labeled wrong. And know with 100% accuracy that you are right no matter what is written in a textbook. Thanks for hanging in there through this video, guys. I know it was a little lengthy. Uh, but I wanted to put enough examples in there that everybody felt very comfortable with this uh, information and hopefully have mastered it by now. So do our career field a favor, pass this information on, help your fellow techs out. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, smash the like button and share with your friends. And if you want to see some more videos like this, visit theBarriumJunkie.com, pick up some merch. Peace.